times are crazy right now. Um, it feels like we're literally in a movie. What's up, Cirque family? It's been so long since I've made a video outside of the artistic tent without makeup. I have a beard. You're like, who is this guy? Well, my name is Eric. I'm the hoop dancer in the Cirque du Soleil show Totem, and I created this Cirque Life YouTube channel about five years ago. All right, guys, another Sunday here in Dusseldorf, Germany, and you know what time it is. It took a long time to really get this channel off the ground, and now I'm proud to say that we just reached 50,000 subscribers, guys. Let's go! So thank you to everybody who has pushed that subscribe button. It just shows me that you agree with what I'm doing here and you wanna be a part of this movement, this family. Over these years, I've been learning so much about video making and how to grow a channel on this platform. It's not only about getting your viewers to watch your video and get high amounts of views, but it's also about getting your viewers to engage by pressing like, which then YouTube goes on to promote your video to a larger audience. So before we continue this video, why don't you go down and smash that like button for that YouTube algorithm and let's see if we can get Cirque Life to 100K subscribers. So, let's get to it. I'm home in California because our tour with Cirque du Soleil Totem has temporarily been canceled. Matter of fact, every single Cirque du Soleil show is temporarily shut down at the moment. The way everything happened was just so surprising and overwhelming. So we were just in Munich, Germany two weeks ago we had an amazing premiere. The houses were basically full every night. And just like every year around flu season, our staff was advising us to wash our hands and stay hydrated and sleep well and take care of ourselves and not give so many high fives to each other because we love giving high fives to each other. And Massimo sometimes does a little bit more than just high five. We have a strong chest with a beautiful tribe that sits. And then we have a here, La Perfection, cut. And then you have a massa. Look at this. <laughs> so shows continued as normal. We performed, we did our thing, we were cool, no panic, no worries. But today is just a Sunday, it's a good energy. Yeah, you know, Sunday is always a good a Sunday, energy. guys, Sunday. But then we got the news that the virus started to spread rapidly through Italy. And this began to raise concerns because our next destination was Milan and then Rome. But we believed that the virus would kind of just roll over and that our Italian tour would not be compromised. We were very optimistic. We didn't really let it phase us. We didn't think that a company as big as Cirque du Soleil would ever be affected because it's so rare that we ever cancel shows. And in my eight years with Totem, we have never canceled a city, ever. To be completely honest, the idea that the show could be canceled was kind of like the feeling when you're a kid and school might get canceled. Especially for us who have been on tour for such a long time, the idea of time off sounded kind of nice. But then things got real. The efforts of Italian authorities to prevent the spread of this virus may have been too little too late, with new cases reported in Austria, Croatia, and even the Canary Islands all linked back to this area. It was finally announced to us on March 5th that our Italian tour had officially been canceled. This means three months off without pay. I personally felt really sad for Massimo just because he's from Italy and since the creation of Totem back in 2010, he's been waiting to go to his home country and perform for his family and just his people. And uh, he told me that all his friends and family had already purchased tickets and uh, I just, I think it was really hard for him, and uh, that, that kind of broke yeah. my heart poesy. a little bit. You talk with Italian people. Italian people have a poesy always. When they say something, they say with the heart, first of all, then with the brain. Okay, so, so now we're in our fourth week of shows in Munich, Germany. It just kind of feels weird to go on stage and perform and put on a smile at this moment when all this is going on and when the whole world knows that there's just this elephant in the room. On March 10th, the German government announced that they are going to ban all events with more than a thousand people. Our big top seats roughly 2,400 people. So our show got canceled that night. 
Um, in my eight years with Cirque du Soleil, this is the most uncertainty I've ever came across. Um, we've we rarely cancel shows. We never cancel tours. We never cancel cities. And right now, all of that is happening. Most of us thought right then and there, that's it. We're done. The rest of our shows in Munich are canceled. We're going home. It's not safe for us to be here. That's it. But to our surprise, after about 24 hours of discussion, our management decided to have us perform that next night for 999 people. I don't know what, how to say, but uh, I don't feel safe and secure anymore. I think it's time to go home and to not get it, to spread it after to the elders for my case in the reservation. So my worries, it's a social responsibility. So we did what we were told to do. We went out and performed. And I gotta say, there was kind of a weird energy in the audience. Everybody was sitting like five seats away from each other and everybody was wearing masks. It just felt like we were pushing our luck by continuing to perform. You know, at the end of the day, Cirque du Soleil is a business. The show must go on, you know, that's, that's the only way that I could explain it. So later that night, show was finished. I get back to my hotel room, I turn on the news and what do I see? I see President Trump announcing a travel ban from Europe to the US. And until this moment, I was calm. But once I heard that, I started freaking out. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. Me and Shandine right away messaged a lot of the other artists who are American and we're asking them if they had seen the news and what they were planning on doing and a few of them had already bought flights and were planning to fly out the next day. It was at that moment that we realized like, okay, there's no way that we're gonna be able to have a show tomorrow because this artist, this artist, and this artist, are they're gone. After doing a little bit of research, I did find that because I'm American, they're not gonna deny me to get back into my country, but I knew that just the process of getting back into America was not gonna be fun. So the next day we came into work and we had another company meeting and we were informed about a new update. Yeah, the Munich uh, city has now decided that no more events for more than 500 people. And because of that decision, we have decided that we will uh, no longer perform here in Munich, uh, meaning that last night's show was our final show in Munich. Munich is finished, Milan and Rome. Normally when we finish a city, we all come together at the end, we all hug it out, and then we all go our own separate ways on our little exotic vacations to who knows where. Then we meet together back in the next city, but not this time. People were just trying to organize their lives as fast as they could. Okay, we need to leave tour. We have to take all of our stuff with us because we're not coming back for almost four months. And we didn't expect to be leaving for another two weeks. I got home from work that night, booked a flight, packed my stuff up as soon as I can, and I was on a flight the next morning. But the big top still had to be torn down and packed away and prepared for the next city, whatever it was gonna be. So a lot of people did have to stick around. There was very few people there to help. So I know that those who did stick around had a lot of hard work to do. And if you're watching this video, I wanna give you a big thank you. Um, I know it must have been hell, um, but you guys were brave and you stuck around and you worked hard and thank you. You guys are warriors. That's it. Goodbye, Big Top. Goodbye, Munich, Germany. Goodbye, Totem family. Um, hope to see you in Brazil. Hopefully things are still up and running. Um, it's been a great journey. To expect it to end this way, but you know everything happens for a reason. I trust God's plan, and uh, that's it. That's a farewell. So traveling back to the US was actually not as crazy as I thought it would be. Um, and now I've been home for the last two weeks, self quarantining, um, just like we all should be. The social distancing is hard because I would like to visit with family, but staying home isn't too difficult for me. Before leaving tour, I shot so much footage that I still need to edit 
and release to you guys on the Cirque Life YouTube channel. I've also recently finished creating the first official Cirque Life t-shirt. Probably the freshest shirt ever made in the history of t-shirts. It's the Cirque Life official working out t-shirt. Wow. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Oh, it's so soft. Wow, man. It feels perfect. I'm gonna work out right now. Excuse me. Ooh. Oh my god. Wow. Shit, man. Hey, medium look good in you, huh? It's uh, actually much better than the Cirque du Soleil shirt. <laughs> Honored. This That's is first great. artistic director you're gonna have. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't got yours yet, the link is in the description. Go check out the website, check out the t shirt, let me know what you guys think about the design. I'm gonna ship all the shirts out this first week of April, this upcoming week. And for those of you who are going through a difficult time right now, or you know somebody that isn't healthy, um, I definitely will keep you in my thoughts and prayers. Before you click away, I wanna ask you to go down to the comment section and let me know what you're doing during this time while you're at home. How are you keeping busy? Um, and also, don't forget to press like for the YouTube algorithm. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe.